uh, welcome again to this new tutorial and this tutorial we will see that how can we generate a stream network using using digital elevation model now uh, first of all we want to see that what is a uh, stream network so for example uh, this is a, a catchment and here in this catchment i want to uh, uh, delineate the uh, stream network uh, for example this is the main river and the other one that is the uh, streams that are coming towards the main river for example this is uh, the secondary stream and uh, this one is the uh, uh, tertiary and this one is the quaternary so this is the stream network which I want to uh, make from the digital elevation model. Uh, here you can see that uh, there are four kinds of streams that is for example four. Uh, this one is for example third one and uh, this one is uh, second and the main uh, stream that is here you can see there is a main river. Uh, using uh the digital elevation model uh, we can uh, make such kind of a stream network uh, using any kind of a gis software like uh, qgis and arc gis so let's do this uh, process in the arc map so coming to the arc map adding the data that is digital elevation model for which we want to create a stream network uh, adding the shape file that is swath behrain and clicking the extract by mask tool which will give us the uh, specified area coming inside the shape file uh, so uh, following the same procedures which we have done already in the previous video tutorials After clicking OK, the process will be completed in few seconds. Here you can see that the process has been completed and the data has been extracted. Coming towards the toolbox, opening the hydrology tool where the fill tool is lying, adding the raster data that is extracted data and clicking OK the process will be run in a few seconds and the voids that are uh, in the digital elevation model will be filled after doing so uh, the other procedure that is required would be the flow direction I'm just changing the name to remember it for the coming steps. Coming towards the other tool that is flow direction and adding the fill raster in this input. Keeping everything like the, uh, the same and clicking OK. Here you can see that the flow direction has been displayed. Now uh, the flow accumulation, it will show us the flow accumulation of the water in this particular region. The process is completed. Opening the properties of this particular website uh, 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 raster classify manual classification up to 10,000 clicking OK OK here you can see that the streams have been appeared in this digital elevation model 
opening the raster calculator which will through which we will uh, we will be able to extract the those regions which are greater than 20000 clicking okay the raster calculator will perform the calculations and here you can see that the other data has been appeared to us now clicking the other uh, tool that is stream order adding the data and the flow direction using the stroller method and clicking ok the stream order will be shown here here you can see 1 2 3 and 4 closing all the other data here are the streams changing the size of the pixel sorry of the raster that is in the polyline format Uh, as you can see that no changes have been occurred uh, for this task uh, we will change this raster data into the uh, vector data which is known as vectorization yes changing the ranges again that is the coming towards the uh, search and searching the tool that is raster to polygon polyline uh, because we want to change the pixel data to the uh, vector data uh, the stream model will be in the uh, line format clicking ok now this raster will be changed into vector data and here you can see that the lines have been appeared which is uh, originally uh, the uh, river or streams adding the value uh, for this uh, vector data I want to, to see that which kind of data should I uh, value should I add so here uh, you can see one two three and four that is great code now opening again the properties of the uh, data and adding the great code add the data one two three and four clicking apply okay now you can see that different colors have been appeared in the form of polyline and these polyline shows us uh, the uh, stream network adding the levels apply ok so here the red one is one while the second one third one and fourth one the fourth one is the main river uh, to which all one two and three contributes this is the main river here you can see that the pixel data is also open so closing the data now the data is in the format of polyline and this is the required stream network of Swat Bahrain 
area. Hope you got this video tutorial. Thank you.